Hello to all of you, this is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we are going to talk about multivariate analysis of variance that is MANOVA in R. In our previous videos, we have already discussed that how independent variable is affecting the dependent variable that is when the factor is there and when we carry out its effect on test score, we are using ANOVA. Now when we want to control some of the variables, we want to reduce their effect that is controlling and the name is covariates, we are using ANCOVA. Now let, let us see what is different in MANOVA. So in this case, the independent variable is at a time affecting two dependent variable, that is one way MANOVA. Or it can be the possibility two independent variables are affecting two dependent variable, that is two way MANOVA. In MANOVA, we are having two dependent variable. This is the only test at present available in which the dependent variable is more is two. Similarly, we can also have MANCOVA in which independent variable is affecting two uh, de dependent variable and we can control one of them and that is covariance. So that is MANCOVA. Now how we can carry out this test in R? Let us see. We'll go in R scripts. Now this example is given in my book that is data analysis using R. Using R. In the last, I'll tell you the link also. I'll show you the link also. So the doctor has taken pulse of 18 patients at regular intervals which are measured as pulse 1, pulse 2 and pulse 2, uh, pulse 3. The variable diet denotes dietary preference with the values of D1 and D2 signifying vegetarian and non-vegetarian. So in case of exercise, S1 signifies yoga, S2 signifies cycling, S3 signifies playing tennis. I want to see that is there any significant effect on pulse 1, pulse 2 or pulse 3 or not. So first of all, I will create this data frame. We very well know now how to create the data frame. So I will just run this and the data frame is ready. So when I will see pulse, it will be exactly the same thing which, which was there in the book. Now first thing which you, have, you should do is uh, use C binders. It means that two dependent variables should be binded. So Y, C bind, pulse 1 and pulse 2, run. Now after that, create a model. The model one is MANOVA. MANOVA means Y. Y is a dependent variable which is combined of pulse 1 and pulse 2. I want to see the effect of subject, that is a dietary preference. I will run the analysis. Run model 1 summary. Now here you can see that the p-value is significant for pulse 1 and pulse 2. Both the both the dependent variable it means that the subject subject is what dietary dietary preference has a significant effect on pulse 1 and pulse 2 so we can say technically we can write as the p-value is less than 0.05 the dietary preference has but a significant uh, effect on pulse 1 and pulse 2 now let us carry out this analysis for exercise Again, MANOVA, Y, tilde, exercise, data, pulse, run, summary. And here you can see that the p-value is more than 0.05 and therefore we reject, we fail to reject null hypothesis and there is no effect of exercise on pulse 1 and pulse 2. All these codes are available in my book that is data analysis using R by Dr. Dawal Mehta on Amazon.in as well as Amazon.com. You can subscribe to my channel for for more videos on R, you can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Thank you.